We are underway for Team Test 3, heat number 2. I'm Chase Singer with Maz Jacobson and Daniel Chaffee as we're getting set for our relay format of the weekend. There's a lot of ways to test teams. I think this especially is one of those to see how good are your individuals. Absolutely. And I we talked about it yesterday about what, because we were talking about Oslo and Navy Blue and how they were the favorites coming into this and what made them the favorites. And we were talking about the fact that they're just a great team. Every individual contributes to the community and they kind of carry each other well. This is what we need to see from everybody, both their athletic prowess, but also not stressing anybody out in case you get in trouble. Um, for example, the Pirouettes. <laughs> Starting off with that 400-meter run, it'll be female athlete one, male athlete one. They'll be doing a 400-meter run, 10 bench press, 15 pistols on each leg, and then three pirouettes. The second pair of athletes with the same run, 15 dumbbell bench, 10 pistols on each leg, and the three pirouettes. If you're looking at your screen from left to right, that is lane one to lane 20. In lane number one, you have CrossFit Aorta. Lane two, CrossFit Serbiton Motion. Lane three, CrossFit Butcher's Lab Krieger. Lane four, CrossFit Rotterham. Lane five, CrossFit Porti. Lane six, CrossFit Najeman. Lane seven, CrossFit Oslo Navy Blue, who didn't have the best day yesterday, but they said one of their athletes was sick. We'll see how he bounces back today. And lane eight, CrossFit Janas. Lane nine, CrossFit Walleye Athlete. Lane 10, CrossFit Trondheim. Lane 11, CrossFit Prestonata. Lane 12, No Shortcuts CrossFit. Lane 13, CrossFit Butcher's Lab, Lab Fleck. Lane 14, CrossFit Oslo Blackout. Lane 15, CrossFit Oslo Nash. Lane 16, CrossFit Senegalia. Lane 17, CrossFit Bad Beast. Lane 18, Arus CrossFit Commanders. Lane 19, CrossFit Kostinant Tolosan. And in lane 20, CrossFit Islesbury. So, I know you're not supposed to have favorites, right? You're meant to be neutral. But I'm, I'm not no, a... No, you can have favorites. I'm not a commentator, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like... Um, but um, CrossFit, no, uh, no shortcuts CrossFit, lane 12. Yeah. With Andre Ude. He's, he's a guy, he's like, I mean... He decided not to go individual because um, they had a baby this year. Yeah. He wasn't getting the sleep that he think he needed to, to compete individual. And um, so it's his first time on teams, but he is the nicest person. I mean, and he's been, he's had a, you know, tough, he's had a tough life, tough few years, and he's just such, he's the gen most, yeah, genuinely nicest guy. Yeah. I, I, I really hope that these guys make it. I, yeah. Oh, I agree. I agree 100%. I mean, you can choose different avenues in life depending on what's been thrown at you. He chose the right one, and I think he's, uh, he carries himself with such poise that it just inspires everybody around him. And you can tell in the team as well. I'm not saying that he is the figure, because as he said yesterday, we are a team. But it's, if you're that kind of person, you will gravitate towards other people like that. And so they have four people with the same, with the same kind of dignity. And in his coaching, he's very interesting. So uh, uh, if you've seen Andre move and you have at the games, his movement is so pure, yes. right? You see him do muscle-ups. Uh, you know, he'll do a set of 15 muscle-ups, number 15 will look like number one, you know? And he coaches that way. He, yep. he, he's coaching his guys, say, you know, okay, maybe you can lift heavier, but I want you to lift better now, yep. and, then, and then we'll go heavier. And so he's, yeah, I, 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 I like his, his mentality. I like the way he approaches competition. Um, and he affiliated with his gym not too long ago. Yep. Um, uh, he's, he's, he's a really important part, and an increasingly important part of the community in his country. So yeah, I wish him luck, lane number 12. All right, as we're getting into the second athlete, let's go down to Brian Friend, who has something on CrossFit and Rotterham. Yeah, thank you, Chase. Got a chance to talk with Sapphire Goddard. Uh, she's a athlete of their team that was unable to compete this weekend, and she told me that they were really happy with their performance yesterday. Anyone who has fallen the European uh, team competition this year knows they came in as the three seed, but without her, they weren't sure how they would do. They're currently sitting in 12th place, and they're really looking forward to getting the men on the bench press here. Her partner, Dan Ty, is on the team. He boasts a 170 kilo bench, mm. so when he gets his turn to go, look for him to rip through these dumbbells. Thank you, Brian. 170 kilo bench? That is insane. That's half a country. <laughs> We're gonna wait for the handsome, the handsome Chase England to look this way. There we go. Look at that. There we go. 
you're just joining us this is team heat number two for test number three we've already had one heat down the score to beat is right around 14 minutes if you look at the bottom right corner of your screen it's the world's most unofficial clock it's back we're still waiting for a sponsor for the world's most unofficial clock but that is we're right past the five minute mark so in case anybody out there from rolex is listening <laughs> yeah. chase will take a hand a wrist watch yeah, we gotta and go the digital we gotta go to the well. f1 route <laughs> oh, you're going that way. Okay, no Ch problem. Chase, I've got, I've got someone uh, I'll, I'll introduce to you. See, I don't know if I wanted to hear the answer to that <laughs> suggestion. <laughs> no, no. Uh, as long as it's not our Uber driver that we had over here this morning. Oh. <laughs> Which we'll save for, we'll save that for a rainy day. <laughs> we'll save that for a rainy yeah. day. Mate, I thought you were rolling in it. I thought, like, you had sponsors coming out of your yin-yang. <laughs> <laughs> he does, but he does turn a lot down. Just, let's, let, let, let's get serious, right? This cohort is way faster than the first year. Yeah, yes. way faster. Mm -hmm. Hey, we look at that. It, it's not necessarily, it doesn't come down to the, uh, it's, it's crazy to call uh, a pistol a basic skill now, but 2023, we've been doing this for a long time. That's a skill anyone that steps onto this competition floor should have in spades. Yeah. But the pirouette is the complete separator for all these teams. It is. I mean, it's, it's interesting, as Brian says, he's got a 170 kilo bench press. I am immediately in love and impressed, no doubt about it. But how does your, how do your handstand walk? Look at, look at Andre Ude, lane 12. Yeah. He's going unbroken. Look at, look at how clean that is, right? Oh, oh I'm, man. I, it's like, I, I love my son. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I want him to be like him, not like me. Be better than me. Be, be like Andre. Yeah, yeah. Be like Andre. Daniel, like... Daniel, listen to this just for the fun of it. Andrew Hode said coming into this, we're the underdogs. Nobody kind of knows who we are. We're just going to kind of fly under the radar. We're a great team. It's like, are you joking me? Everybody knows who you are. Everybody knows who the team is. And then you go out and do something like this. So in case nobody knew, everybody does now. Yeah, absolutely. And um, he, so for, for Andre, he opened his box um, at his home, and so these guys they live with him. Yep. So his wife cooks some breakfast, <laughs> lunch. Dinner. So Nat, Nat, if you're listening to this, Natalie, um, Andre's wife, she she looks after the team like from start to finish. Um, I think the, the washing machine is going full full pelt all the time. <laughs> like and he's got a kid. It's like, wow. Uh, shout out to uh, Andre Uday's wife. Yes. How about that? Yes. Shout out. Natalie Rios. Teams working their second half of the test. Your top teams in the middle lanes have their second female athlete on the runner. So they'll be doing 400 meters on the run, 15 at dumbbell bench with 60 pounds each. Is that 27 and a half yep. kilos? Yep. Oh, male athlete from Trondheim. I don't think I've seen anybody go through it that fast on the handstand walk. Wow. He's feeling it now, though. <laughs> that face. I'm just looking forward to the one minute left run. You know, oh, that, yes. When they, when they hear that, you have one minute left, and how they, they pick up the pace. I'll tell you what, if you get that call and you're on the runner, you know that's not a good spot. <laughs> we're, we're not in a place we want to be in this heat. But the good thing is you never failed on your on the pirouettes in that case. You'd just be like, hey, I did a great job on the run. Just thank me later. Yeah, you want to be heading to the, the bench with the one minute to go. So it's like, I'm going to finish with a bench. At least I come up when I got a pump on, you know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like somehow the shirt magically comes off after the 15 bench press reps. It's like the 30 muscle ups for time. It's like, hey, Instagram moment for 30 seconds before this goes away. Top middle teams in lanes five through nine. And it looks like Oslo, navy blue, white top, pink shorts in the background are your lead athlete or lead team. Well, the interesting part about it, that is that Nikolai Biludol, who had a bit of a, a rough start yesterday, is through this. So he's doing better. And to be in all honesty, they didn't the first test didn't go quite the way they wanted it to, but the second one they did very well. And now look at this. I mean, maybe he's bouncing back. And you've only got four teams that haven't got the second athlete over the finish line yet. Yeah. So it's way faster than the first heat. You can see Denise Thomas, who's the head judge down there, and she is giving these athletes hell on the pistols. Oh Not yeah. Not at the bottom, but at the finish at the top. Yeah. So she's just corrected the two girls in the middle there saying stand all the way up, you know. 
go, Denise. The standard is the standard, right? Nothing else. Yep. Matt, you're talking about the, the tough day it was yesterday for Oslo, but especially um, that athlete. But test one was a like if you're coming in under the weather, test one and test two. Yep. Absolutely brutal. This one, not too bad. It's short, it's intense. But then when we have later, the, the event we have later, it, it comes back. Yeah, uh, it comes back to see if he's feeling better today. The, the thing, the thing is with these tests, it really is. So you're great over here. Let me test you way over here. Is there are all kinds of chances to bounce back, but there's also all kinds of chances to find out that maybe we should have been a little bit more diverse in our training. Now, athlete four. This is going to be really interesting. Looking at lanes 11 and 12. All, all first three athletes are over. 11, 12, and I believe lane, is it 15? So you've got three teams that are on the last athlete already. There's going to be a race to the finish, I reckon. That's, I reckon we're, four, we're, that's we're gonna, 14, sorry. But yeah. yep. We're, we're going to get a really exciting finish on this one. It's like yes. Oslo blackout. And, and Wal Walleye, Walleye and Oslo Navy Blue, or I think it was, I think it was, yeah. They were, they were side by side. No, it was no shortcuts and Walleye right next to each other as they were they were they were finishing up so it's like it could very well become a sprint so those two guys on the run as the hands are up right they're going to come off the runner pretty pretty tight yeah it's, it's going to be a race yeah head down feet up right <laughs> yeah i nearly made a mistake <laughs> <laughs> i was going to say the way to get out of that is just like chin down and I just, just swing the, for the fences but i, I collectively like held my breath to see what you're going to finish <laughs> <laughs> with that sentence So no, no shortcuts in lane number 12, a little bit of a lead. Lane 12 will be the center of your screen. That, that, that is no shorts CrossFit, yep. no shortcuts CrossFit. Yep. He's got one rep lead on the bench. Oh, they're, they're now they're equal. But yeah, look guy. at Alexander Yelibru from, uh, from Prestanda there. He's games veteran. He's been around for a long time. Looks like bench press is his jam. Yeah, well, he's, he's picked up. He's, he's, he, it's lane 11 that are going to come off the bench first, I think. Nope, no, caught time. up again. All down on the pirouettes. This is exciting. Oh, sorry, oh. pistols. And then pirouettes. Yeah, yeah. Ten on each leg. We've got a race brewing between three teams. And then it's in lane seven. Oslo Navy Blue in the white left side of your screen. And in lanes 11 and 12, Crossit Prestonata. In 13, Butcher's Lab Fleck. And it's going to come down to a race on the pirouettes. Left side of your screen in white, right side of your screen in the navy blue in black. Those are your top three coming in, and it's going to look like Oslo Blue is off to the races first. And this is going to go fast. He's not going to come down. There's no way. The time to beat is 14 minutes. He's going to have to stay up if they want to get that top time for the day. So methodical. He's thinking about his hand placement on yes. every step, right? That is oh, smart. Oh. That is smart. Oslo Navy Blue with a, with a test win. And that's exactly what they needed to start day off after day one. Wasn't quite their day, but the race for second in lanes 11 and 12. No, it's lane 14. Lane 14 has come across the line. Yes. Oh, 14 just came across. It's another Oslo team. Oslo blackout. Lane 11 just got no reps. He goes back to the last pirouette. Lane 12 has come through on the last pirouette. Can he make it? Oh, my goodness. Oh, he was... Wow! Wow! Remember the uh, oh. Hand on the line. Hand on the line. Yeah. Oh uh, wow. Okay. And that was right around the 14-minute mark. So yep. the time we had from heat one yep. could potentially be a top three time here for the entire test. It is definitely going to be a factor. Yeah. Now, when you look at that, you understand why this sport is such a good spectator sport. That just got me excited. I mean, I'm yeah. like, you can see it, you can hear it, right? You can see it and hear it. Right? <laughs> My mom's a philosopher, and I showed her some of the events from the games last year. She knows nothing, absolutely nothing about fitness in any way, shape, or form. She got excited. She's like, I don't know what I'm looking at, but they're racing. So, I mean, yeah. But you know about a start line and a finish line, right? That's exactly it. And, and so, like, as a box owner, when you're doing workouts like this, how often do you actually set your athletes up 
with a start line and finish line, or you just give them a space, right? Mm. Yeah. If you set them up the start line and finish line, it just it, it takes on a whole new dimension, right? Yeah. When it's coming down to tenths of seconds separating four or five places, those little things that you should be practicing in your affiliate getting ready for the live competition floor. You know what I love to see right now? It is so CrossFit Pistamda and uh, the and the black or and the no co no shortcuts CrossFit high fiving and chest bumping each other. So they just had an absolute fist fight, and now it's like we're all in. Fucking amazing! Let's start talking about what you just did right there. That was your handstand. How did you do that? I mean. At the end of the day, we're all friends, right? Yeah, well, and they know that by having a good team next to you, yeah. you'll perform better. Yes. So you're getting into a safer place on the overall standing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, my favorite moment is coming now. Look at lane number one. He's going <laughs> hell for leather. Tom Cruise, Mission Impossible 4. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that sprint. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh. Wow. And that wow. will do it for test number three. And what a wild start to the second day of competition here in Berlin, Berlin Germany for the 2023 European semi-final.